Hey everybody, I will have a um, full review up coming soon. I know that some people were hoping it would actually drop in the morning, but wasn't able to get the whole thing recorded, so I will have a more um, full review in depth, I guess, talking about each scene and sequence, but I just wanted to upload an initial uh, video or audio clip if you're listening to this. Let me know what you guys think about this episode. I, I feel like, uh, right, what's going on in episode 7 is we're, we're getting, we're just at the beginning of the real intrigue that is starting. Now, I've heard from people who have seen all 10 episodes, and it seems to me that they felt 7 was one of the sort of tougher episodes because it, a lot of people said it needed to be played with eight, which I think three is like that kind of too. I think episode three does better when you can play four right after it. Waiting a week from three was a little bit difficult, but I feel like waiting for eight after seven is going to be really difficult. Seven is definitely dark and a downer and the shortest episode of the season. So I think, I I hope that the audience hangs on, because from what I'm told, you know, 8, 9, and 10 are kind of, you know, it starts just ramping up crazy. Um, and on all the reviews I heard of, from people who have seen the entire season already, you know, they seem to think that 7 was one of the, more blah episodes. It may in fact be one of the weaker episodes of the whole season, but I don't think it's a bad episode. I really liked it. I really did like it. I liked the dark tone. The only thing I'm upset about is that it ended and that I didn't get more. So my only complaint is this is the first time, this is the first time in the entire season other than maybe the end of three, I was a little bit on, like, a little bit aggravated like this. Um, but this is the first time that it's really like, ugh, there's not another episode, you know. Um, you need to have one after this. It's such a, it's such a quick episode. You wait all week for this, and you're, like, dying. And then you get about a 42-minute, very dark, slow um you know, episode that I think probably the people will be right that it needs to be played with eight, that seven and eight would have been better if they were one, and maybe they could have just had nine episodes this season, but that's not how this works. You know, they want ten, they need a certain amount of things, and you need to cut whatever a certain way. Um, I think once the entire season is available, then this won't be a problem because you'll just watch the next episode and it will make more sense. Um, I don't think you can hit a home run every time, but I think it's a, it's hard to call this an episode. It is an episode, but it feels like a, the beginning. It feels like we just got part one of a, an episode and the, the next part should be there, but it's not. So you have to um, wait. Back in the day when there was two parters, mm -hmm. you know, they would be, you know, 40 something minutes long and then there'd be another one with commercials. But, you know, they were two parts to complete a story. We're on part seven. And when you get a shorter episode, it's just sort of torturous. So what I'll say about it is, um, I, I love the music too. The uh, the darkness in the music, the, that piano is really, really haunting. I really like that piano, and some of the music used on this uh, darker episode. And um, I'll get into specifics about the episode later. Um, but again, I think this is going to be the most difficult week for people that have really enjoyed this show. Because they have to wait a week to get to the next part. And this was only 42 minutes long. So um, I thought what I watched was good. I just felt that we didn't get quite enough. It'd be like, you're, it's like if you're hungry and you go out to dinner. And then you don't get a full meal. 
you know, you'd, you'd be kind of like, but the food was really good. You know, you'd be like, wow, that was great food, but why didn't I get more? Like I wanted, I couldn't get salad. I couldn't get dessert. And they brought me this amazing steak, but there was no potatoes. Like what, what the hell? So I'll probably go. I think a lot of people are going to end up after this episode, going back and watching episode one to six again. Uh, maybe to seven throughout the week to keep themselves going for episode eight, which, um, again, like I said, the good news is reviewers speculated this from the beginning that, uh, seven would be kind of like a, like a, a, a sort of like a filler, you know, beginning. It's not even a filler. That's the thing. It's hard to say this about this episode. It's good. It's just, it feels dark and empty and slow. And so if you add all these things together, it just comes off as like, it leaves you kind of with anxiety or empty, I guess, um, in some ways. But uh, we did get some good moments, like um, uh, the data at the beginning. It was like, I love the data at the beginning was like, Captain, where's the scimitar, the yeah, I'm on the, I'm on, where's the Enterprise or whatever, and, you know, Picard, they, they had to, like, it was Data thought he was, his last memory was, you know, being on uh, the Enterprise, because this is the copy from B4, so when that copy happened, you know, went into B4, all, all the Data did after that, you know, real Data doesn't know about, he doesn't know about sacrificing himself and all that stuff. I wish that there was a scene where they actually talked to him about that and where he was like, it would have been cool to hear Data be like, then, you know, then, um, you know, you, you might have done the most human thing ever. You sacrificed yourself, you know, um, and uh, Data could have reacted to that, you know, and then Lore could have. So I think you could, I think, I think what I would have liked to see was a little bit more. They could have made three or four more minutes of this episode with data, maybe, and getting like a touching data moment. Um, and maybe with data and Jordy or data and lore or, or something. But either way, um, I think we're all kind of like, you know, waiting now for next week. Like where, what way is, what is this, where, what way are we going here, you know? Um, and we'll see what, what happens. But I, I do, I do think this will be probably the roughest week because, um, this episode was so short and I, I feel like it needed another five to eight minutes to 10 minutes. Um, but that's okay. So I will say that I think this was my, I would probably rate this episode around a 7 out of 10, potentially. I think that's my lowest rating of any episode this season, or 6.5 out of 10. It's one of the lower ones, but it's still good, and it's still like a... I still give it a thumbs up. I like it. Um, but this episode is definitely going to give like the naysayers or the people that don't like or that are hate-watching, they are probably going to rip this episode. You know what I mean? There might be a couple guys who will love this episode because they're Deep Space Nine fans and they seemingly hate TNG, but they love Deep Space Nine. And since this, epi this episode is dark and like hopeless, mm -hmm. they'll probably like it because they like dark and hopeless for whatever reason I've noticed. But there's going to be a lot of people that, um, you know, that are going to rip this apart because they didn't get a lot of answers to them in their minds. Um, it was slower paced. It was very quick. And they have to wait a whole nother week to see what's next. So there's going to be some people that rip this one, I think. Um, but that's it. I'll do my full review later. What's up, buddy?